Dr. Henry's orders are not suggestions or good advice. They are the law. And as Minister of Public Safety, I will exercise my powers under the Emergency Program Act to ensure that those laws are enforced. That is why today, based on the recommendation of BC's health and emergency management officials, I am taking the unprecedented step to issue a series of orders for the duration of this provincial state of emergency to support our provincial health officer and Minister of Health in our swift and powerful response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Effective immediately, we have established a new provincial supply chain coordination unit to work in partnership with industry to coordinate goods and services distribution. And any bylaws that restrict the delivery of goods at any time of day are repealed. The province, through Emergency Management BC, will take a more active role in coordinating essential goods and services movement by land, air, marine and rail. And at EMBC's request, retailers and suppliers must report on inventory of critical supplies, including health supplies for frontline workers. To protect British Columbians and give everyone the peace of mind that they will be able to buy groceries and other essential supplies, we are prohibiting the resale of food, medical supplies, personal protective equipment, cleaning and other essential supplies. And working with retailers on measures to restrict quantities of certain essential products at the point of sale. We always think of course of our, our healthcare workers, our doctors, our nurses, our care aides, uh, who are our paramedics, uh, ambulance attendants that are right there uh, every day. But we also need to make sure that those shelves are stocked and people get the food that they need. We need to make sure that uh, childcare is available for first responders, frontline workers, not just uh, those uh, critically important health workers, but also uh, truck drivers, uh, warehousemen, people who are keeping the, the supply lines going.